I am particular. I particularly commend our Central Committee and the Youth and Women's League. Today we are celebrating the 69th anniversary of the Convention People's Party. Before a teeming crowd of some 60,000 people, 69 years ago today, here in Accra, Osaji for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah launched the Convention People's Party. Those so gathered on that fateful day were expressive of the prevailing mood of the country, and especially of the youth, that Nkrumah should break away from the United Gold Coast Convention, UGCC, and form a party which would unite the country in a single voice to demand self-government now through the non-violent program of positive action. 61 years after the founder, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, led this country into victory, an independent nation with a right to determine her own destiny, the challenge of living up to his vision and expectations remains uncovered. We contend with an assault on history and truth. A revisionist attempt to rewrite our history and to rob our youth of the knowledge of the achievements of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. But our detractors are misguided in much as they are mischievous. Because the greatness of Kwame Nkrumah lies not in his history, in our history, but in our future. Because Kwame Nkrumah inspires us to build a party and a country to transform us from the nadir of hopelessness into the shining black star of Africa. Because Nkrumah compels us to unite together as Africans to transform our continent because our manifest destiny is linked together. Yet our destiny is imperiled. We contend with an assault on the integrity and the values of our nation. Congress, throughout my travels across the country, I have met with Ghanaians from all walks of life, especially those in the remote and rural areas, and I have been inspired. I have found in them irrespective of religion, gender, creed, tribe, and class, a resilient people with an unwavering belief and commitment to democracy, freedom, rule of law, peace, and unity in our motherland. But I also found in them a people disappointed and disillusioned, a people tired of political rhetoric, and isn't and it isn't much with reality. A people disenchanted with the state of our nation. A people fed up with a healthcare system that cannot save a 70-year-old man because there are no beds in our hospitals. A people angry at the international disgrace and shame that has befallen our great nation because of scandals upon scandals upon scandals of corruption with no consequence. And God bless Anas, who is a national hero and a, a hero of the cancerous corruption plaguing our society. A people tired of political robbery with no impunity. A people unsatisfied with free education, but no jobs. A people unaccepting of the growing inequality and the widening gap between the rich and the poor. A people frankly fed up with the two major political parties who have failed as spectacularly. Our people are losing confidence in our judiciary, in our leaders, across the political spectrum and in our political institutions. 
we find ourselves in an abyss with no clear moral compass guiding us out of the labyrinth of graft and corruption. At the folk land, at the folk road of despair and a yearning for hope, there have never been a greater validation of the ideals upon which the Convention People's Party was formed. There has never been a greater moment in our history where the need for a third party, where the need for an alternative to the two-party system entrenched with entrenched corruption and failed leadership, where the need for restoration of our dignity and our values and our purpose, and it has so shined brilliantly illuminating the darkness of our despair. We must lead by example and start with our party and all increments. We must lead by example and start with our party and all increments across the nation. On the 69th anniversary of the founding of the party that liberated Ghana from the shackles of colonial subjugation, I call on all improvements to come for a new challenge to liberate Ghana once again. This time, not from colonial rule, but from the shackles of corruption and failed leadership. Our struggle is a collective effort. We must ensure that our, uh, we guard ourselves and the party against threats of divisionism which seeks to work against our desire and our destiny to deliver a new type of leadership to our beloved country. We must strive to place the supreme interest of the party over and above the individual or group interest. As leaders, we must always remember that we are servants of the party and servants of the nation. Osaji for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, the founder of the nation, once said, if our revolution must succeed, then every man and woman of good intention must be given a role to play. Thus, every member of the party has a duty to play in our efforts to rebuild our party and liberate our great nation. Comrades, the Convention People's Party is undoubtedly the answer to the people's cry for change. It is a party tied to the people of Ghana and our aspirations for a better and a more promising life. The CPP must continue to be the vanguard of the realization of the collective dreams of our people. It is our duty as a party of national liberation to rise up to this time and to, and, and to this unique moment in the history of our country to capture political power and restore Ghana's greatness. In the words of our, of our founder, Osajifo, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, comrades, the task ahead is great indeed, and heavy is the responsibility, and yet it is a noble and a glorious challenge, a challenge which calls for the courage to dream, the courage to believe, the courage to dare, and the courage to do, the courage to envision, and the courage to fight, the courage to work, the courage to achieve, to achieve the highest excellence and the fullest greatness of man and woman. Dare we ask for more? Comrades, countrymen and women, there has never been a task greater than the salvation of the soul of our country and the restoration of our dignity. Let's get to work. Forward ever, backward never.